listening to this and actually saying that a custodian of affirmative action, who is Honorable Aisha Jumwa, is the one again uh, targeting a few women. We don't have enough of them, but a few women of substance who have done a super duper fly job in their uh, areas of authority. Matilda Sakwa is actually so professional. She's so um, hardworking and so focused on restructuring NYS, which she has done anyway. And uh, instead of Aisha Jumwa holding her hand and even looking for other opportunities to promote, I'm surprised that she has plucked her off and rendered her, you know, inconsequential. I think I should remind my lady, Aisha Jumwa, to remember why she is in that office. No one is doubting Matilda Sakwa's job. She was doubted. She was intimidated. And during Aisha Jumwa's even interview, so many people questioned her purpose. But here is a superwoman who has no dents has no, you know, question marks. She has restructured NYS. She should be doing something uh, for the nation continuously without being demoralized or intimidated or oppressed or even um, maybe cautioned. You just don't know what happens in those long uh, corridors of power. But what we know is the nation is taking a wrong path. We do not want tribalism. We do not want chest. Thumpers, if you are in a place of authority, serve people well. Do not uh, intimidate them or sack them or just uh, uh, take them wherever you think you can, thinking that that is your mother's home. That is a public office. And it, everybody who is in a public office, just a contract. All of us are on transition. So for the few months or years that we will be serving, let us do the right thing in the right manner.